everyone, I am back and I'm feeling much better. I finally have like the very end of the cold, so pretty much everything has gone away. My voice is starting to sound somewhat normal again, which is great because I kind of missed my normal voice. I just sounded so, sometimes you can still kind of hear a little bit of, you know, nasty. But look at this piece of hair. How lovely! I just got back from an outing with my friend and we did a bunch of running around. We went to go see the movie Godzilla in theater and I just realized that my dryer and washer are running. First we saw Godzilla in theater and I was really excited about that movie because who doesn't want to see giant monsters running through towns? I mean, that's always been a dream of mine. Is, is that wrong to think it'd be kind of interesting and fun to have like an actual Godzilla just prancing through your neighborhood? <laughs> I also think the zombie apocalypse would be pretty cool too, but maybe I'm just being weird. Would you want zombies and Godzilla running around? Because I feel like that'd be a pretty cool world. And anyway, if you have seen the movie, then you realize that Godzilla's not actually that bad. He was fighting the other nasty, gnarly monsters. I mean, if we had a zombie apocalypse going on, and then Godzilla, I feel like he'd be on our side, you know, stomping on all the zombies, and we really wouldn't have to do much, except for maybe get out of his way because he's very big and I feel like he might accidentally crush us thinking we were zombies. That'd be a pretty interesting fight, like zombies versus Godzilla. Oh my god, this should happen in the world today. The movie was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Like, the whole time it was pretty intense and I think I could have gone with seeing more monster action. After the movie, I went around to antique stores and then I went to an oriental food place, like an Asian grocery store kind of place. Yeah, Asian grocery store, if that's what they're called. I'll start with um, the interesting parts, what I got at the antique store, the things that I'm actually really excited about. The first thing that I got was an old-fashioned, I believe it's a video camera, almost 100% sure, but you know, maybe it's a normal camera, it might be just a normal camera or a video camera, I'm not entirely sure, but it would be this little doohingy. So this is what it looks like. I uh, hope you can kind of see. Um, the side has little buttons and gadgets. This, this I believe is the actual recording, if I can actually get it up. You can twist it and I think that's what makes it go. I'm not entirely sure because I need to actually, I need to look it up and figure out how to use it and if I can still use it. My friend told me that they still sell film for this. He looked it up and so I hope that I can still get film. And then the back has the little hole where you can look through and it's actually really neat. It probably would work a lot better if I just like moved my glasses out of the way. It even has like all the little words and gadgets like on the camera lens part. There's the zoom. So that's that gorgeous camera. Now I can put my glasses back on and see the world. The last thing that I got at the antique store, because I only got two things that I could not resist getting. Both of them are in fact cameras. This one's a lot older. Um, clearly, because it's got the little flash they did not have any of the bulbs to go inside of it, so, and they told me that they may not actually make those light bulbs anymore for the flash, so I may not be able to use this camera like I can the other one, but I'm gonna try to give it a go anyway and look for the bulb that would go in here and look up this camera in general on how to use it. And that would be the actual camera part. Oop. 
I think I just took a picture. And this is what it looks like naked. So it's really pretty. Even if I can't use any of these cameras, I would still be happy to have them kind of out and sitting because they look really cool. After I went to the antique store, I went to the Oriental grocery store, Asian, Asian grocery store. For starters, I decided to get this jasmine tea. The next one I got was 100% Japanese green tea. Still shiny. There we go. Every once in a while I just have a British accent. I've been watching a lot of British YouTubers and British TV and it just kind of comes out every once in a while. I can't control it, you know? Look, at there's that piece of hair just doing its own thing again. Stop that. I couldn't resist. It's called Ramune or Ramune or however you say it. Um, but I got like four of the original sodas and then I got uh, a, like a package of the orange flavored and another package of the strawberry flavored. And the last thing I got, which is amazing, I got it in bulk. I got this ginormous Hello Panda. There goes my cat. Again. That was pretty much it for right now. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Bye.